Hey guys, Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new week and also welcome to round one for my locals this past weekend. We have Tri Brigade Zoo on the left versus Salomon Great on the right. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at who you guys thought was going to lose this particular match before they get started. And out of about 448 votes, 61% of you guys said that Salmon Great was going to lose, and about 39% of you guys said Tri Brigade was going to lose. So let's see if you guys are correct this time around. And if you want to participate in the voting, uh, just check out the community tab. I try to post the uh, polls a day in advance. Uh, so I can get some good data uh, to add into the start of these videos to make things a little more interesting. So, Salomon Great winning the die roll here. Um, this is kind of a, a very important die roll because both decks want to go first, you could argue. Um, but Salad taking that uh, little victory there at the beginning, starting with Flame Buffalo, linking into Baylings to get that nice draw two, pitching a Foxy, grabbing Sanctuary, of course, now activating Desires to draw into another two cards. I think he drew Rage and Gazelle off of that Desires. Um, so that Gazelle literally just missed uh, getting banished off of that uh, Desires. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, at least at least from what I understand, um, you know, Gazelle getting banished off Desires isn't a huge issue. Um, but, you know, it's obviously not optimal e either at the end of the day. So Imperm is there to stop the Gazelle. But Foxy is there to help extend to get into Mirage Stalio. I think first time, uh, you know, this is the first time that Salad has been on a feature match on my channel uh, ever since uh, Mirage Stalio has been uh, brought back into the game, which is kind of cool. So, unfortunately, it is met with a Valor. Won't be able to do too much there, but our Salad player does have a copy of Will, which is basically just going to act as a Monster Reborn here, uh, bringing back the Mirage Stalio. That is going to allow Sunlight Wolf to add back the Gazelle, importantly, to hand. Always want to get that Gazelle back. He's going to relink, or not relink, but link into another copy of the Wolf. That's going to allow him to attempt to add back the Rage, and that second Veiler is going to come in so handy. So three going second cards for our Tri Brigade player. He draws Thoroughblade for turn with Karas and hand. So it's a pretty okay hand here. Tanky is going to be very clutch, uh, but only very clutch if it doesn't get hit with an Ash. Now, I don't think ashing the tanky is the correct play, but I mean, maybe, just maybe, if your opponent is already down three cards like that, you know, could you really go wrong? Um, but I think, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah, either way, uh, Thoroughblade is going to come in very, very handy here. The Zodiac engine is so, so strong uh, to help the Tri Brigade deck go second, and you're seeing just that right here. Uh, getting access to Borbo, allowing to swing in directly for 1700 damage thanks to Tanky. And uh, that's allowing him to get into a 4 material Zeus, wiping the board one time. That will unfortunately trigger Gazelle here. Not such a big deal, but he'll also have another board wipe for the follow up. That's why having the 4 material Zeus is so important sometimes. That Gazelle will resolve, dumping a spinny. Our Tri Brigade player only having a copy of Karas in hand, not doing him too good. But, you know, you can't complain about having that nice double board wipe here, especially against a deck like Salmon Great, um, where, you know, a board wipe is going to be very, very handy. Bailinx can't really do too much about that. Uh, obviously, it only stops from uh, destruction by card effects in battle, so Zeus is a very, very strong counter here. Sign at Mining. Discarding Sign at Mining. Uh, not the best discard, but, you know, it works. Um, down on card advantage quite a bit here. I don't think our Sal player has any other cards in hand, which is not exactly what you want to see when you're going against a Zeus uh, with two materials just like that. No real way to extend at this point, so unfortunately he is going to pass, and it looks like our Tri Brigade player just drew into Kit, which is really, really strong. Going to normal summon Karas to banish four. That's going to summon out Shurig. And he's going to put everything into attack, swinging in for lethal. And we're already into a game two. And as we get things started here, I want to mention a quick shout out to Imperium Duelist. Guys, check them out. They sell all sorts of amazing TCG accessories, playmat sleeves, deck boxes, dice, backpacks, and more. 
Check them out at the link below, and don't forget to use my discount code WINNERKILLSTON off at checkout to save 10% off your entire order and support the channel in the process. Same thing can be said by using my TCG Player affiliate link down in the description below. If you guys shop and check out, using that link, a small bit of the revenue from your purchase goes right back in the channel and helps out a ton. And if you want to support even more, uh, consider becoming a member of the channel today. Multiple tiers uh, for, you know, different... Uh, access to uh, perks and things like that if you want to go above and beyond to help support the channel and help me do what I do um, but yeah getting back to the game here uh, pretty good turn so far for Salmon Great got access to gazelles got spinny and grave uh, now going to search a copy of sanctuary spinny is being brought back here it comes, the rank 3 fire horse will it be able to resolve this time is he going to open 3 hand traps uh, looks like he did open a hand trap, but not one that can stop Mirage Dahlia here. So that is going to get that Jack Jaguar out onto the field. It's got to feel so good to resolve Mirage Dahlia, especially if, you're, if you've are you been a long-time Salomon Great fan, uh, which I believe our Salomon Great player is here. Let's play the deck, I think, before when, when Mirage Dahlia was uh, legal. Um, and now is probably very happy to play it again with that card back. So... Uh, Jaguar reviving itself, allowing him to add back, I think, that copy of Gazelle, using the relink effect of Sanctuary to go into the second copy of Sunlight Wolf. Um, it is going to be... Uh, well, he is going to DD Crow the, uh, the Rage, but he's still going to be able to add back the Circle because I don't think that uh, the Sunlight Wolf targets. Um, but setting three back or on passing, which is huge. Tri-Brigade starting here by pitching Karas. Will it be met with a negate here? I mean, I've heard some people say that, you know, stopping the uh, the fractal right at the beginning can be um, pretty good. But, I mean, this is also the problem with that logic because they could easily just normal summon um, something like, uh, you know, Nerval, uh, you know, and link it into Almirage and then get their effects, um, et cetera, et cetera, just extend past it. Uh, he does have a copy of Impermanence, though, which is really good. He's going to let him banish for cost, Impermanence, and make it so he cannot uh, go into that Farragut. But he's going to be able to summon Karas, pitching off the Rat, and uh, summoning that to the board. The Almirage has hit the field, or hit the grave. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it could be missing something, but now going to use Karas effect, banishing two more. Probably go for the Farragut here. He could also go for the Bear Brum. Um, not actually sure what's left in hand. Yeah, if he had another Tri Brigade monster in hand, I could say he'd probably definitely go for the Farragut uh, to extend, get into uh, Rugal. Uh, or even Appalooza actually would probably be a lot better. Yeah, because he could extend with Farragut, summon a monster to the board, um, you know, then link into Bear Brum, and then. Uh, link into Appalooza and get both effects to draw, put one back, and then search a revolt, put one back. But he's just going to go into Rugal here, and he's going to use Bear Brum to search revolt, and of course put one back to the bottom of the deck, uh, just as you do. But uh, no Zodiac cards here. Well, I mean, I guess he did have the uh, Rat Pierre, uh, so he could have started with that, but I don't think that would have been. Uh, very, very successful, considering the amount of back row uh, that our Salmon Great player had here. Um, so we're going to go into the battle phase, get some damage in over top of the Sunlight Wolf, and set that revolt. Um, and I think that'll probably do it for his turn. We're going to see an end phase circle, which is going to be pretty huge. Uh, you know, giving him more extenders to start his next turn. Also deck thinning a little bit here before he draws for turn. Um, but there's there's one thing that can be said about Tri Brigade is it does have such an incredible ability to play through interruptions. Um, you know, if you stop the normal, they can just link it off into Almirage, get another search, right? If you try to stop the Fractal uh, from you know the whole sending to the graveyard chain, you know they can follow that up with a normal summon, and if all that fails, they can follow that up with a Karas, right? Um, or or a Barrage into. Uh, Zodiac plays, or if you try to uh, Gamma, or no, not Gamma, but, uh, you know, Ash the uh, the Rescue Cat. They can have Gamma for that, too. It's just a very, very slippery deck. I don't know how else to say it, but it can extend through quite a bit uh, just by the nature of the cards themselves, the Tri-Brigade monsters being able to 
gain all that advantage essentially uh, when they hit the grave like Burning Abyss monsters. But if there's one important thing to pay attention is when they use the Nerval. So you can know whether or not they have access to an extender or not. And uh, it's also a pretty good thing to negate to uh, is negating the Nerval. Again, stopping them from having that surge. So that way they need to have the cards in the hand or they need to have the tanky. Otherwise, they're not going to have the follow-up. So um, at least that's what I've been noticing as I've been learning how to play against the Tri-Brigade deck. Because I do think it is very, very good. Um, but our salad player is going to link into Heat Leo using Mirage Dalio. Looks like that's going to force out this revolt. Also having a copy of Gazelle for our Salmon Gray player. Going into the Shurig here, which is going to give him that non-target banish. And it looks like he's only going to get the Nerval effect in the grave. He could use Fractal here, but I don't think he really, really needs to. Um, so we'll see what our Sal player has here uh, in response to this Shurig, if anything. Otherwise, this non-target banish is going to be very, very impactful. Mirage Tail looks like it was putting back the... Rugal to the extra deck, and we're going to see a copy of Circle being chained here, actually using its monster protection effect. Uh, not only can it search, as we know, but it can basically uh, make one of your Salmon Great monsters unaffected by monster effects. So that's going to come in very handy here, and we'll see Nerval Resolve looking to add a copy of Kit. And by the looks of it, the Circle is going to protect the Sunlight Wolf, which does make quite a bit of sense in this situation. Because as we know, Sunlight Wolf can generate a ton of advantage for the Salmon Great deck. Uh, adding back Fire Monsters, adding back Salmon Great Spaller Traps. Uh, all around really, really good card, especially while Sanctuary uh, continues to stay on the field. Gazelle looking like it's going to dump another copy of Foxy. And yep, now we're going to see him relink into another Sunlight Wolf using Sunlight Wolf. And he's going to go ahead and reset the Roar, I believe. Since another monster, uh, Salmon Great Link monster was summoned uh, using its uh, own name as material. I'm going to set that back. Summoning out Jack Jaguar, recycling Mirage Dalio, importantly. And is going to use the effect of Sunlight Wolf to add one back now, since Jaguar was summoned to his own at points two. And now we're going to see another Link 2 here. We'll see what he decides to go into, and it looks like it's going to be Update Jammer. And when you see Update Jammer in the Salmon Great deck, you can uh, imagine one thing that's going to be coming. One of them is definitely Transco Talker, as the Update Jammer actually gets DD Crowed, which is going to be kind of huge. Um, because if you didn't have the DD Crow there, uh, that Transco was going to bring back the Update Jammer in order to link into Access Code Talker with, which would have been at 5300 attacking twice, and plenty of fodder in the graveyard to blow up that Shurig. Uh, to go for the OTK. Um, so that has got to be an extremely, extremely clutch DD Crow right there. But he still has access to the access code, especially with that uh, transcode talker on field being a link three. So be able to boost itself up to 5300 if he uh, decides to link off in that manner. He may have another extender here. But we'll see what he decides to do. Not much interruption uh, right now. Really nothing uh, in the form of interruption uh, for our tri Brigade player. But he does have one thing that's arguably, in this case, a little bit better than interruption. And that's follow-up. He's got tons and tons of follow-up. The graveyard has been reloaded thanks to the revolt. Uh, the Shurig hits the grave. He'll get a, a search off of that. Um, and then, of course, whatever card he was able to grab off of Nerval after immediately you know, resolving his um what is it the revolt and that's the one scary thing about uh tri brigade again not only can it play through a bunch of hand traps just by the nature of the deck itself but it uh also has the ability uh to have tons and tons of follow-up and uh wow yeah uh, so our sam great player passing deciding it's probably not worth to just link into an access code especially if it's not even going to be close to game you might as well just leave the sunlight wolf and the Transco Talker there, especially the protection that Transco provides, um, which is, you know, definitely warranted here since our tri Brigade player has a Pankratops now, which is going to be, I mean, it's a really, really good card to have here. Normal Summoning Kit, looks like Banishing 2, uh, and we'll see if he has a response for it, and he does, he's going to burn that Rage here, and he's going to try to get Kit, he's going to use the Ash there again. Try to keep him off any other extenders, especially at this point since he has no other cards in hand. That's something you definitely got to do. 
Uh, you don't want to give them access to something like, uh, you know, a Fractal to have for next turn or a Karas. Um, but it looks like a Clutch Ash and a Clutch Roar is going to slow his opponent down just enough to give him another turn here. Um, but Pank is definitely still going to prove to be somewhat of a problem at this point. Uh, well, if he has a Bailinx Engrave, maybe not so much. And it looks like he does have a Bailinx. Um, but he's going to start with the normal summon of Foxy. And imagine he'll use its effect here to go ahead and reveal three, but perhaps not. And I could see why, because I believe with Foxy, and pardon me if I'm getting this uh, incorrect, but Foxy's two effects, uh, one is obviously the basically pot of duality type effect where you reveal the top three, and the other is where you can pitch, I think, a Salmon Gray card from your hand to summon out of the grave, then you can pop, I believe, a spell trap the opponent controls. I think you can only use one uh, of those effects per turn. You can't use both of them, so... I think that's why we saw him not use that effect on summon, so he could use the other effect in Grave later. He does have a spinny as well, uh, which could be pretty clutch, and it looks like he's going to establish a copy of Bailings. And it looks like at this point, from what's in his Grave, he doesn't have another copy of Bailings in Grave. I don't know, he definitely does have another copy of Bailings in Grave. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Again, I do have to watch at a lower resolution while I do the commentary for those that are unaware, so sometimes it's hard for me to tell exactly which cards are uh, which. But... The uh, Jaguar is going to bounce back the uh, Mirage Dalio to the extra deck to summon itself out. Now we're going to see him pitch the spinny up to bring back the Foxy. No back row, of course, that he really wants to destroy here. Obviously, his opponent doesn't have any. Now bringing back the spinny. Uh, so quite a bit of recovery here for Salmon Grade. It's easy to forget how good this deck can recover, um, You know, especially with some of its best traps resetting itself. How crazy Sunlight Wolf is, you know, is just in general. Um, you know, to be able to recur your spells and traps back, also add back your fire monsters, even things like Ash, getting back Gazelle, just so good. Such good recovery here. Um, very, very good. Now going into Hita, which is a very solid card in here. Almirage is uh, a pretty commonly played card in today's meta, even in uh, Invoked and also here in Tri Brigade. And uh, we're going to see him use Hita to bring out the... Uh, Al Mirage, you obviously don't want to bring out Kit, because if you do that and link that off, you know, he'll get a search, or we'll be able to send, and then send Nerval, Nerval search as well, you definitely don't want to do that, so luckily that Al Mirage was in the grave to be able to revive, and let's see what he does here, of course, the Transco Talker has already been burned, so going for a game at this point is going to be easier said than done, although Access Code is still in the extra deck, so that is a potential route, and I believe he's looking at that, but he'll have to use a lot more Link material to get to it, and it's definitely not going to be game. And our Drytron player is still deciding to hold on to the Pank, or not Drytron, uh, well he normally plays Drytron, but he was playing... Uh, Tri Brigade today because he was kind enough to let me borrow his two Evas so I could play Drytron and learn the deck in a tournament setting. I did order Evas of my own, but they are taking, believe me, so, so long. They're taking their sweet time uh, to get here. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can both be back on Drytron uh, sooner than later. So it looks like he is just going to make uh, the Axis Code with three materials. And it looks like on summon. Um, he is going to use the Pancratops, at least on resolution, I'm assuming of the attack gain effect, on resolution, uh, use Pank, and it looks like he will chain the Almirage to protect the, uh, you know, protect the access code, basically kind of make it fizzle, um, and he's just going to punch in for only 4,300 because he only linked it off with a Link 2, um, so getting in a little less damage here. And uh, banishing Hita to clear the omen. And yeah, at this point, uh, our Salmon Grey player, if he doesn't have any interruptions, it's going to be uh, kind of uh, a downward spiral here. Because um, he, he does have plenty of, of extenders at this point. And if he's able to link this Nerval off, you know, he can get another search. Uh, you know, possibly fuel a Karas to get even more bodies on board. So we'll see what he does from here. Looks like, it, of course, he's just going to use the Nerval to banish two. This is probably going to go into uh, the Baron Blossom, or in this case, Double Dragon Lords, uh, sending off his Nerval to bounce back the access code. 
is going to go grab the uh, the Karas, and he's got the discard fodder for it, banishing th uh, four, going for another Shurig. That is going to banish the Sanctuary, and he's going to swing in with 3,000 from Shurig, 16 from the Double Dragon Lords, and 12 from Karas. Importantly, you got to remember that the Double Dragon Lords is boosted by 500 from its own effect. All Ancient Warrior monsters gain 500 attack putting it to 16. Um, not closing game there, but close enough. And again, it's the follow-up that is the killer here. Because again, if that Shuri hits the grave, I believe he will get a search. He's also got to worry about the balance from Double Dragon Lords, which can be very, very effective here. He's going to normal summon Foxy. That finds a copy of Will, which is really, really strong. And also, I want to touch on one thing, too. I'm very much a fan of Tri Brigade, um, just because it's not like um, it doesn't seem like it's one of those decks where if it if it goes first, at least against like you know a, a decent deck, it's not like kind of like an FTK like Dragon Link boards or it's kind of like the Drytron boards because um, th those boards require um, a little bit more uh, to be able to get through. You kind of got to hope you see something like Dark Ruler or, or Droplets or having the proper set of hand traps to, uh, to slow it down and make it not as powerful. But, uh, Tri Brigade seems like a very, very balanced yet very, very powerful, uh, strategy. It reminds me of some, like, uh, older, uh, strategies that we've seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's kind of refreshing to see. Not ending on any sort of, like, negates here, but just decent removal and really, really solid follow-up almost kind of reminds me of burning abyss in a way um just because like you know you had your fire lake and your traps as your removal and then you know, everything hitting the grave all the time just meant more more searches more follow-ups uh, meaning you know more pressure to be able to apply on the following turn so now our salmon great player trying to think his way out of this one but this one double dragon lords is going to prove to be uh very very difficult to out because obviously he's going to wait for uh, the Mirage Dalio is going to tribute off the Double Dragon Lords, and that's going to be game. Tri Brigade winning 2 0. If you guys want to see more of my videos, check out the two on the bottom of the screen right now. And a huge shout out goes to our Divine Level channel members, and they are Cadillac, City 4, and Pony Stark. Thank you guys so much, like always, for your extremely generous support of this channel.